Welcome to Brake Magazine. My name's Lel Pavey, and today we're testing WP's Explore Pro Suspension in a 790 Adventure R. The 790 Adventure R has got really good suspension out of the box. It's already one of the best suspended adventure bikes on the market. For an off-road guy, it holds up really, really well, but there's definitely more performance to be had there and there's definitely more comfort. WP do the Explore Pro suspension, which is essentially a cone valve fork and a higher spec shock that you can buy. You can also buy it in two different length versions. So you can match it with the standard 790 Adventure R, or you can lengthen the suspension out so that it's the same travel amount as the Adventure R Rally version. So I think that's about 300 mil travel. I'm gonna hand the reins over to Cy Pavey today. I'm behind the camera. We'll find out what it's all about. So we've just been riding the bike absolutely stock out the box as it comes from KTM with the clickers all in the standard position. Uh, like we know from when we've ridden this bike before, it's it's kind of definitely leans itself towards the guy that's uh, kind of come from an off-road background, I guess. The handling and the suspension on it is really off-road focused and it suits that kind of aggressive riding style a little bit more. But then interestingly, once you do start to push a little bit harder, you, it does remind you that it is still adventure bike suspension. And it's, it's really, really good. It can deal with a lot of stuff. It can definitely deal with a lot more stuff than you know, an adventure bike normally can. That's where it feels like a little bit lacking to me, where in that first sort of compliance, if you're just bimbling along and there's lots of small bumps or, or the slippery stone kind of bump, where maybe if you're a little bit lazy with the, or you know, you're on the throttle and you're hitting those small bumps and it's not really giving almost because you're not riding it hard enough you know if you if you're that sort of trail pace then it skips around and skitters around a little bit and i think that for me that finds like it's good at finding traction till you're in that scenario but then a lot of the time the way you want to ride that bike you don't notice that because you've got so much momentum because you're riding it fast that you're not kind of doing that picking your way through small bumps as much and on a bigger hit, then it kind of runs out of rebound. You definitely get that sort of bounce um, feeling, I think. So it'll be interesting to, to see if there's a, a difference or if some of that's just caused by the size and the weight of the bike, because it is still a 200 kilo bike. So it's hard to know like what you can expect from a 200 kilo bike. Once I was happy with how the bike was working and understood its limitations and its positives with the suspension, we then stopped for lunch and Gareth changed the stock suspension out for the WP Explore Pro suspension. Following that, we went out and rode all the same trails and filmed in all the same spots so that we had a really direct comparison both in terms of feeling and visually for you. Yeah, so it's pretty uh, interesting changing to the WP Explore Pro. I think the real first thing I noticed is just everything felt a bit more controlled. And by that, I mean, you know, the bike sat up a little bit more in the stroke, in the suspension, and it meant that that initial bit of travel was very receptive to the, the ground. So when there's small rocks, small bumps, the wheels are tracking the ground. And uh, especially on the fork, like I, I definitely, for me, the fork was like the biggest improvement, the, the bigger of the improvements over the, the whole suspension system. Um, but that fork, the, the way it then tracks over the ground and follows the small details. And when there are slippery rocks, it's, it's tracking over those bumps. 
it gives you a lot more uh, feel of the, what the tire is doing and therefore a lot more grip and a lot more confidence. So, you know, when it was slippery, when it was a little bit bumpy on an off camber, got a section down the bottom of the valley there, we didn't, you, you didn't actually film it. Um, there's a lot of sharp edge bumps along an off camber. And with the standard suspension, you know, I'm kind of going along there, feeling those little twitches in the front and it's sort of slipping and gripping and slipping and gripping. But with the Explore Fork, it's then tracking the ground much more and and then you're feeling the grip and you feel what's available you know that's really confidence inspiring and i think you know the reason is is that you know when when the fork in that initial bit of travel is, is sort of bouncing when it, when it's a bit harsher and it bounces then the you know the tires unloading and then reloading and having that moment where as the tires loading up it's not gripping until the tires loaded Whereas when the wheel's tracking the ground all the time, it's got the same amount of pressure through the tire, so it, it's maintaining grip. So like, for me, that was sort of the bigger, the biggest kind of yeah, improvement, confidence inspiring. For, for sure, you know, when you do go and jump a ditch or a, a bigger hit like that, which is kind of not, I suppose, something that's generally so important on an adventure bike, maybe unless you don't see something on a big fast fire road you know a bulldust hole or something like that it's going to save you in that situation and that's great but as i say the, the confidence that that sort of initial the improvement in that initial travel is is uh yeah sort of very inspiring i guess and you know that's something that's going to benefit every level of rider for sure the, the good rider's going to enjoy it but for me, it's sort of almost like the other way around where you're kind of more entry level adventure rider. You're, you're kind of what we like to say in enduro sport, the, the clubman guy. It's going to help because, it, you know, when you build confidence through the bike working, how it's supposed to work, the same as we always say about, you know, people that are new to it are happy to ride on bad tires. But if you ride on good tires, it, it helps you build confidence and helps you improve your riding much more quickly. And I think, you know, that's another thing that can help with that. Taking you know the, mo the money out of the equation, if there was no money in the equation, then I'd like I'd definitely 100% have that suspension. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. You know the, the shocks got those same attributes as well like it's definitely got that better initial feel to it but as i've already said like for me the fork's the one that really gave me the big improvement and the big confidence feeling and and like i said it was the grip and the traction you, know, you always think about oh is the suspension better over the bumps and it is but the net effect of that was the confidence of having knowing what the tire is doing and feeling the grip So if you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you want to know more about WP suspension, the link's in the description down below. If you like this jumper, you can buy it in our store, brakemagazine.com. See you next time. <laughs>